Hello there. What's up guys? Today is Andor's premiere and I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing a whole series of watch Andor with me as the episodes come out. Three episodes are out as of this moment. I haven't actually gone and looked at the screen yet because I'm going to be so tempted to watch it like right now this second but all my siblings are sleeping sadly and I have to go to work life but I'm going to come back hopefully I'll be able to watch it then I need to have an and or shirt ready so I can wear it while I'm watching the show because that makes it's just so much more fun yesterday I went over to Joann's to get a plain Gildan shirt uh, they were pretty cheap uh, three for twelve dollars so not too bad because if I would have gotten one online it would have been definitely more than that just for one shirt. Andor definitely snuck up on me. I By the time I was like, oh, I should buy an Andor shirt, it was too late. I have a design that I made myself on the computer so we're gonna go and print it out on a regular piece of paper so we can see how it'll look on here before I print it on transfer paper. So yeah, let's do that. It will be a lot of fun. Okay, so I've got the design pulled up right here. There we go. You can see it there. It's got that 70s font that I really like. Very groovy. And then Cassian. So we'll just print it out full scale and see how that will fit on the shirt. Here's the shirt and the design. So it's pretty good. I think that's like about the size I want it, but I'm gonna line it up to be centered in the middle, not like pretending the aesthetic symbols don't exist. Now I've got the transfer paper here. I'll have to load it in, but the instructions say that it has to be inverted so I have to flip it horizontally. Print. So now I just gotta plug this guy in. Just cause of the lines, I'm gonna go over it with this super tip so that the, the words at least don't have that. It's okay if he has it. I don't know if this will ruin it or not, but we'll see. There we go. I filled it all in. There's some mess ups like from the scratching, but I think it'll be okay in the end. I can always go over it with Sharpie. But I think it's time to iron it on. Yay. So I'm just casually ironing it on. And since I was in a rush, I made the bad decision of pulling the transfer paper off when it was still warm because that totally ruined it. And I had to leave it like that till I got home from work to try to salvage it. I just got off of work and I have my prints of Cassian. I've got five by five, 60 of them. I edited these myself with a custom filter and I think they look really good. I went through all of Rogue One and made sure to get every single good picture I could of Cassian. So we've got stuff from the entire movie and I honestly can't believe when I get home, I'm gonna go watch Andor and I'm gonna see new Cassian footage is insane to me but yeah I'm excited and I'll see you then so here I'm back home I am pulling off the transfer paper so you can see the designs on the shirt now and it went really nicely on the bottom it's totally solid uh, but as I start pulling it up it just gets uglier and uglier and disastrous that's my sister talking but yeah she's not wrong so I tried to fix it using a Crayola marker. Don't ask me why I thought that was a good idea. It did nothing. So I just redid the process with a fabric marker and it looks so much better. Up close, you can see the imperfections, but far away, no one can tell. Guys, it's finally here. <gasps> I'm about to watch it. I'll tell you my thoughts after. 
So I pressed play and Andor began, but what I didn't press was the record button. I thought I did, but apparently I did not. So there is no footage of me reacting to the first episode and most of the second episode. So I only caught a little bit of two and three. Sadly, next time I promise I will record it in a better setting with better lighting and actually have more clips of me going. So I'm sorry, but let's just appreciate how beautiful this opening was. It was just so epic the way it was so moody and the rain pouring down. You can just feel how this show is going to be in the first five seconds and I love that Cassian with the hood so mysterious and just exciting the soundtrack oh and the title cards it just brings me back to Rogue One me I'm in for park shit if you do add-ons and boosters I feel like I've met this guy before oh my god Yes, Tony Gilroy. Time for episode three. What a you. <laughs> what a sim. That's simple behavior. Oh my gosh! The parallels! I love the sunlight! Okay guys, it's the next morning and I'm so excited to talk about those three episodes because they definitely did not disappoint me. My friend, Blue Yogan, um, she had texted me before I watched episode one and said she had seen episode one and she had said it was boring. So I had a little tiny bit of like, what is that? Where you, where your, your, you kind of, your hopes go down a little bit. I told her, shh because I didn't want to hear it yet. But I do understand the first episode was kind of slow, but I think it set up the characters really well after seeing the second and third. So I'm really enjoying the series so far. I've been waiting for this show for years. So there was always that thing that would come into my mind like, is it gonna be boring watching a show about somebody who you know they're gonna die? I thought it would bother me in like the action sequences, like, oh, oh you know he's not gonna die. But the way that they're choreographing it, it's not making me think about how we know he's gonna survive, but it's just making it so interesting in how he's gonna survive. What's funny is how I had predicted that the show was gonna involve Cassian's sister, although I thought Bix was his sister. And then, so like I had that pre-engraved in my mind. So I was like, oh. Um, he found his sister really quick, and then I realized that's not his sister. Bix, she's pretty cool. She's just kind of like, no emotion. So I'm sure we're gonna get to know more about her soon, which will be cool because it'd be good to know why she's like that. Honestly, Tim, that was just so funny that his name was Tim because it's just a regular name. And usually, um, Star Wars doesn't always have regular names other than Luke, I think. So it was just funny hearing him be like in Star Wars, oh, hey, Tim. But I think it actually fit that character really well. Honestly, he was a simp for Bix. The whole episode um, two and three was just Tim and his simp behavior the whole time. The acting in this show is a lot better than in Obi-Wan, no hate on Obi-Wan. It was, I'm glad it exists, but the whole scene of the Inquisitors walking through the town, I watched the behind the scenes documentary for Obi-Wan and they were like, oh, it was just want everyone to feel how scared 
the people in the town are when these inquisitors are walking through and I didn't get any of that it just looked pretty lame to me I don't know if it was the lighting like why couldn't they have done it at night that would have been a lot scarier even then the inquisitors weren't that scary at night on the other planet so maybe it wouldn't have helped I was honestly feeling more stress from the blue guy the, what are they called the like the town police walking around and everyone clanging that was really cool like I really enjoyed that that was a new take on like a town in Star Wars just really cool to see everyone like being a part of the battle that was cool and even though it's not really a battle it was just like Cassian but that was really cool I really like that and I thought that was done really well, honestly. And I have to mention the bad guys. I, I'm i really bad at remembering the names like the first time around of watching something. So I'm going to have to watch it again. But hopefully my descriptions of the characters make enough sense. But you know, the guy with brown hair and blue eyes and he he's the bad guy. He has a he's a good character I think so far because we've never gotten a bad guy like that who's he's not just like oh I'm angry I I hate the galaxy you know he actually has like good bad guy motivation because it's very conflicted I think and then how his character is going to develop over him like trying to like bring about justice for those two guys who died how he's really just ending up getting a lot more police killed than um, to because of his efforts to bring justice so I wonder how that's gonna affect his character um, I think I saw a shenanigan Skywalker said that he reminds her of Lux Bonteri which honestly why I, I don't want that connection because Lux is just the absolute garbage bottom of the garbage can that's where he deserves to go so I don't know if any character could be as horrible as Lux Bonteri. So I don't want to make that connection anymore, but he does kind of look like him sometimes, except for Lux had like the Justin Bieber hair going on every now and then. This guy's very like proper. If he had one stray hair, he'd probably go nuts. So it's a very interesting bad guy duo, him and that other one who's like shorter and plumper. And he, that together it they kind of remind me of lieutenants and rebels and they kind of remind me of that but totally different too because those guys are just like going along with whatever and these two guys they've got like a serious passion for justice i just gotta say the whole feel of the show so far it's so interesting like the the architecture of like the sets um, I can totally tell that it's not in the volume and I love that because yeah the sunsets are really pretty in Mando and stuff but when it gets to actual like like scenes of people talking it, it kind of gets very fake feeling so I'm glad they actually are in real locations you can totally tell especially because you can see how cold it is back to what I was saying about the architecture it reminds me of Tomorrowland at Disneyland like the very 70s sci-fi look full cinematography especially like when they're um, landing in the ships it's very different but I like it a lot I think it's really cool um, what else did I want to talk about oh yeah the acting is really good and Andor I didn't get any um, acting vibes off of any of the characters the background ones it just felt very real which I liked and also the fact that we got Selvig in Star Wars now so good his character um I love I don't know his name I, I usually know his name but uh, my mind is blanking at the moment but he's so good in Cinderella which is cinema I have to say and then also um in Marvel I mean Selvig such a good character it's really cool to see him in like a mentor sort of role towards Cassian and also just the parallels between young Cassian, it doesn't feel forced, it's just really, really good. Like how they're showing how it's happening to him again, where he's being um, unexpectedly taken in by a new group. 
and he's going to have to learn new things and find a new purpose so I'm really excited to see where it's going to end um, or continue to but I like it so far. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything about the show that surprised me. I think just that I thought we were going to see the rebellion by now but I'm okay with waiting. Um, I'm excited to see Mon Mothma again. So as for new characters, I really like the new droid um, and I just know his his name ends with emo which is funny, but I like him a lot. He's a really cool clunky design. He looks not too high tech like Lola. She's very like, okay, I can tell you're a rich girl's droid. This guy, he's just very practical. He has a really likable personality. And then the old lady, such a good character um, that she kind of adopted Cassie and that was so sweet. And I hope nothing bad happens to her. <sighs> felt so bad for her with the whole house being wrecked like that was just sad I think that's all for my thoughts so far I'll probably make another video maybe a podcast episode if you guys want let me know in the comments who you want me to bring on my podcast to talk about the episode more and questions so I can go more in depth and not just repeat everything I'm saying right now so drop that in the comments that's it for me blabbing got my prints here again so I'm gonna put them up now because I didn't get a chance to do that last night so I'll just leave the camera recording so you guys can see we're gonna have to take down you in so goodbye yeah thank you for your service um his era is over sadly so I got a lot more this time of Cassian because I went all the way through row one. But so we're gonna say goodbye to you in. Goodbye, you in. I gotta say, one of my friends, um, she's nine years old. She came in here and she was like, Oh my gosh, Christopher Robin! Maybe if there's an Obi Wan season two, he'll come out of retirement. Um, but for now, he's gotta go. Good goodbye. My Etsy shop's having problems right now, but let me know if you guys want this collage. Um, if you want to order it on my Etsy again, I'll, I'll go put the effort into bringing my shop back to life. Also, my shirt. If you guys want me to make merch of like a whole line of Star Wars shirts like this, um, definitely not ironed on. I would get it professionally printed because I'm not sending up this garbage. It would probably be $30 a shirt. I'm guessing so let me know if you would be willing to pay that because if so I would love to make a whole shirt line so let me know I'll I would sell them on Etsy too so I'm just gonna lay out all the prints here and see how I want to arrange them before I put them on the wall so I sorted all the pictures out by if they are profile portraits or if they're more um, like medium shots so we'll just try to arrange them in a way that looks good move you one out of the way and we'll see how it goes here it is the final product the Cassian wall. It's another day, but I'm just finishing off the vlog here. So the rest of this series of the vlog will be a lot shorter because it'll just be me watching the episodes, giving a few thoughts, not putting up an entire 60 piece wall collage and making a shirt. I'll see you in a minute and may the force be with you.